Introducing the Live and Let Live at Harpole. Hang on a minute. That's better. Let's go on inside and take a look on what the pub has to offer. This place is huge. With so much natural light, it's incredibly spacious, but the light itself makes it feel warm and cozy. The bar is situated in the middle, so it doesn't matter what side you're at, you will always be able to get a drink. Now I'm gonna be in the bar tonight, and that space there is where the entertainment's gonna be. I've got front row seats, so come back and join me. But first, let's have a chat with the landlady of her view about the pub itself. Hi, my name's Miranda. I'm the landlady here at the Live and Let Live in Harpole. Um, we pride ourselves on our extremely tasty vegan menu, um, also caters for gluten-free. As you can see, I have quite a large stock of gin, uh, anything from local gins to international gins. Uh, and we love having motorhomes come and visit us here. We've got a great car park for you to park up in. So hopefully when life is normal and back to regular outings, we'll see some of you soon. Miranda's really thought of everything because if you fancy an early night, you can take away your drinks back to your motorhome and just relax. The pub holds so much history. It used to be three cottages. Then the middle one became a beer house in the 1700s. It's a massive community place, supporting all the local businesses for you to be able to share your work and use local. Let's have a look at the menus to see what's on offer. I've never been to a pub that's got such an amazing vegan menu. And the fantastic thing about this place, it even caters for dogs too. They really have thought of everybody here. Due to the restrictions at filming of the time of this video, I can only show you photos of some of the fantastic food that is on offer. Don't they look tasty? Now folks, it's time for drinking. I'm at the Live and Let Live at Harpole in Northampton. I've got two drinks to try so far. I've got Adnam's Southwold Bitter and I've also got Tribute from St. Austell. So um, one of each, dark and a gold. So we've got a, an amber dark ale and then we've got a golden pale ale. Let's try the Adnam's first, shall we? It's 3.7%, four pound a pint. Let's give it a look. Getting right into sniffing it straight away. It almost looks like a like a chocolatey colour. It looks very dark, very nice, very appealing. Let's give it a smell. I'm kind of getting like an oaky, like an oaky, oaky smell from this. It's very faint, not a lot. I mean, at 3.7, a lower alcohol range, she doesn't normally get much of an aroma. Let's give it a taste. Let's get it in there. Okay, it's very bitter. It's got a dry aftertaste, nothing too heavy. But I'm kind of getting like a burnt, like an oak, it's still that oak, oak, like a burnt caramel. I think it would be go perfect on a bonfire night. Yeah, I mean, the body is okay. It's not thick enough for me. You know how I like something, something thicker in my mouth that I can play with. But it's pleasant. Aftertaste is slightly dry. It's a bitter ale. Um, yes, I like that. That's Adnam's uh, Southwold. Yeah. Let's have a look at the tribute. Now the tribute, 4.2 from St. Austell. It's very gold. See how gold that is. It's beautiful and gold. Slight cloud, but then they normally are. It's like a haze more than anything. Give it a smell. I'm getting a citrus smell from this straight away. It's nice. It's 4.2%, remember this one. Yeah, I'm getting a grapefruit, possibly a lemon. 
very citrusy, very citrusy. Aftertaste is nice, pleasant, it's not dry. Yeah, very citrus. There's a Cornish pale ale as well, which I like. Yeah, definitely full of citrus, full of grapefruit, possibly some lemon in there. Very thin body. This one's got a bit, bit better, better body, like a medium, I guess, if I was to put it onto a scale, but not as good as, not as big as some of the things that I've had. Um, out of the two, two different drinks, enjoyed them both. Not my cup of tea though, not something that I would drink of an evening, but still very enjoyable. I'm just about to try samples of the clean liquor range. We've got clean gin at, uh, this one says 1.2% and that one says 1.2%. So they're low alcohol. So for anybody who doesn't really drink or, you know, don't, you don't want to get that kind of fuzzy feeling, this is a perfect substitute for you. But let's see whether or not it affects the taste. I've got the gin and I'm just going to taste a little tiny bit because I'm not big a big fan of gin on its own. It smells good. It smells almost sweet. Oh, I like that. Do you know that's really, really pleasant? It's such a strange taste. Now, normally if that was gin, I'd be like, but this is actually really, really nice. Let's try, now we've got the rum. We've got the rum, let's give it a smell. Ooh, I can smell the rum on this one. Let's give it a taste. Yes, I can taste more rum with this, definitely. What a fantastic idea, especially if you're out during the day and you just want to have, you know, like a couple of drinks with your friends, but you don't want to go back to work or, you know, go back home in the evening and a bit fuzzy or got a bit of a headache or anything like that from, from too much alcohol. What a fantastic choice. The Clean Liquor Co. Company. Rum and gin. A perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the taste of a drink without the fuzzy headache. Little Marvin enjoying a, a small rest before we get on to further drinking. I'm trying the Estrella. It's a Spanish lager. It's £4.17 for the pints, 4.6%. I love the fact, I, you know, I keep going on about it, but I love the fact that uh, it's given to me in the correct glass as well. Very, very important. Now, love a lager, especially on a night like this. We're going to have entertainment on, let the lager flow, as they say. But I actually really like the taste of this. It's got that European flavour for a lager, but specifically Spain. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's bubbling. You can just feel that happiness in your throat. Definitely this is something that I'm going to be trying for the rest of tonight. I might even try something else. As there's so many drinks flowing tonight, I thought it best to take a small breather, have a look outside and see what the beer garden has to offer. Let's head back inside, ready for tonight's entertainment. Wow, folks, I've certainly got a sore head this morning, but it was well worth it. Fantastic drinks, fantastic friends, and a perfect community pub that made me feel incredibly welcome. Now it's time to get ourselves out and about for today's walk. Walking through the car park, 
you can see just how big it is and how many motorhomes it can fit. So there's plenty of space for everybody. Now before Marvin pulls my arm off, let's get out and about and see what's local in the village. Harpole Village itself is so picturesque. It's got its own village store. It's got a beautiful antique shop. There's so much to see from flowers, beautiful cottages and the countryside. What more could you ask for? There's so many beautiful yet quirky things within this village. And if you look too far, you're gonna miss out on so much. There's something to look at at every corner. Come on, Marvin, let's get to the top of this road so we can look back at the great view. Sorry Marvin, it looks like it's not real ducks. There's no ducks on the menu today. We've really enjoyed our time at Harpole. The community spirit here is so high, it just makes everybody feel welcome. I can't wait to come back and see all my friends again at the Live and Let Live another day. Come on Marvin, it's time to get back to Hank and get back on the road. Don't forget to support your local and thanks for watching.